Hey, this is Laurent, uh, elite, the owner of uh, Elite Wrestling Dog Training, Elite Pro Canine Campus. Uh, and basically, I'll tell you guys where, we, where I took the day goes. Uh, I usually get up in the morning and I go pick up my, my day campers. Um, usually, we arrive here about 9 o'clock. Um, when I drop them off, I come in. The, the girls have already taken the dogs out to use the bathroom, and typically, Talia uh, takes the dogs out for a walk. So, the first step. And then when I get there, I let them out in the back, make sure they use the bathroom because the amount of walking that we put in there, they usually drop a few loads while we're, while on the walk. So we try to try to minimize that in the back. So typically Tyre and I, we usually go anywhere from two to four miles. Two miles if, I, if we're just going to walk. If I feel like running, I'll go four to five. So uh, we usually, typically when we, have new, when we have new dogs in, they're not used to the exercising. So we have to monitor them, make sure we have water. Um, or we'll just go in very short, short bursts. And then once they've gotten used to it, then they can call into suit with all the other dogs and and we um, and then we knock them rocking all over. So right now the kennel is uh, about 2,600 square feet, uh, 2,700, 2,700 square feet. And we're looking to expand, hopefully in the next month, um, to 5,000 square feet. Um, really the plan is, is once, once, um, once we have I want to gut that. I really just want to gut it, and I want to build a new facility, uh, a new boarding area. Um, that's going to be that's going to be like the indoor outdoor play area. But for right now, I'm just going to add in the extra kennels, and then once that's been um, once that's been built out, then we can move on to phase two and phase three. All right, so typically, when I go over to people's house, we do private lessons. Uh, we do evaluations as well. Um, when I go into a situation, especially with a dog that has been abused or we don't know what the past is, I always go in as a neutral or or friendly. Dog um, is um, very nervous, mm -hmm. so um, that's her. I think. So you might be feeling aggressive. So. Both of them are right quick. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if this dog is fear or this dog is actually uh, aggressive. Um, not sure if it's oh, it could be it's fear aggressive, um, but it's because uh, it does. It's never been around a bunch of dog or a bunch of people, so its first reaction is to you know defend. And then we'll talk about it and do it. She can. She can. She's taking the, the food. Say, okay, now we can start working with the behavior. Okay. Let's go ahead and start minimizing this. Okay. So it's going to, I mean, <laughs> seeing some miracles happen uh, in a short time, but um, where this is this is easily, easily a six week. Easy. Yeah, no, I, I'm not thinking she's an easy fix, but <laughs> like I said, I don't know what this dog has done to me, but I'm like absolutely like love, I love your little rat face, mm -hmm. and so I just, I want to fix her. I, I yeah. hate that someone just dumped her like trash, and I, I don't want to take her anywhere. Well, you got to remember too, I mean, you see, she, you rescued her, or your, your daughter rescued her, and you spent so much time with her, and you see the potential in her. Yeah, she's, she's a good puppy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So um, I have my own dog named Duke, and I'm getting ready for a, a competition. And um, even though I have a lot of dogs, I have to spend time with him because if I don't, then we're not going to have a good bond and relationship. So I got to make sure that well, one doesn't make me look like a fool when I <laughs> when I'm ready to show him, but then two, I got to make sure I satisfy I satisfy his needs. So I don't want to be the mechanic where all the dogs, all, all the all the cars are fixed with my own. So obedience is very, very important, especially when in the household, because what it does is it, it gives the dog direction. Okay, having having the ability to have your dog understand what you need them to do in any type of situation that's obedience. Whenever you're using a treat or whatever the case may be, and the dog responds to you 
but only with that and not on public, that was a trick. All right, we'll take it out. Is she, is she cool with confined uh, rooms and stuff, or is she right in the open area? How does that kind of test her out? She should be all right in the room. Okay. We did it in the grass, right? Yeah. 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 Y
So the purpose of this is for mental stimulation as well as physical. So this she has to think, you know, it's like inclined down here. So she's not gonna, you know, she has to figure out that she's not gonna fall off. She needs to keep moving. And um, super hot outside. So if the dog is crazy, you know, a little bit, a lot of fur. Whatever day that she comes here, uh, I believe she comes about twice a week, so we do that about three times a day with her. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Tune in to our uh, to our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you, if you like it, like it, subscribe. Um, elite, uh, EliteProDogTrainer.com, uh, EliteProCanineCampus.com. And, um, you know, we're going to be shooting them videos every Thursday. So tune in, be amazed, and hope to see you soon.